Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. X to the power of 4 equal to X minus 2 to the power of 4. Okay, now this is the first step I want to take. X to the power of 2 to the power of 2. This will be equal to x minus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Because if you want to remove this bracket, you will still have power 4 over there. Now, bring this to the left so that I will be having x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus x minus 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 and this will now be equal to 0 okay so from here now we can apply difference of two squares right okay so to apply difference of two squares we'll be having x squared minus what we have on the inside which is um one bracket x minus 2 squared right this is what we'll have in the first bracket and in the second bracket it's going to be addition x squared plus open bracket x minus 2 squared and then this is now equal to 0 okay so this is very simple let me reduce it okay now the next point is to deal with what we have in the bracket i mean the inner bracket right because for this alone x minus 2 squared right this is going to be the same thing as x squared minus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 2 then plus 2 squared so this will be giving us x squared minus 4x plus 4 so this is for what we have in the brackets so the first bracket now will be having x squared minus open bracket the whole of this x squared minus 4x plus 4 close this and then in the second bracket we have um okay we'll be having x okay this is x squared then plus the whole of this as well so we have x squared minus 4x plus 4 and then this is equal to 0 now this this inner bracket may not be here because this is addition right but here now we have to open the inner bracket this bracket here so we have x squared minus x squared plus 4x because negative negative will give us positive then minus 4 then in the second we will put these two together so we have x it's actually 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. Now from here, this and this will be gone. So this means I have 4x minus 4 in the first bracket. Then in the second, we have 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to zero and now i can apply zero product rule to say that either this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero so if i work with this first 4x minus 4 is equal to zero meaning that 4x is equal to 4 and that x is equal to 4 over 4 so the value of x from here is equal to 1. This is the first solution to the problem. 
to get to the other solutions, we will pick this quadratic expression and equate it to zero. So we have 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. So now we have a quadratic equation. And we can divide both sides by 2. So that um, divide this by 2, by 2, or divide all through by 2. Okay. Now this will go with this. x squared minus this divided by 2 will give 2x plus 2 equal to 0 over 2 and that is 0. Now the next point is to use um, any of the method to solve this but then I would love us to apply the formula method for this and um, okay let's go to the other side here is a quadratic equation and the formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this will be over 2a right so x is now equal to our b is minus 2 so negative negative will give positive 2 then plus or minus we have minus 2 squared that is for the b then minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 2. The whole of this will be over 2 times 1. Then x is equal to 2 plus or minus. Minus 2 squared will give 4. Then minus 4 times 1 times 2 is 8, right? So this will be over 2. But then, do not cancel this, okay? Because these two will also work for the root here. x is equal to 2 plus or minus. Then we have 4 minus 8 to give minus 4. And this is over 2. If I continue, then x will be equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1. So what I've done is to split so that I bring out the negative from there. Now this is over 2, right? x is equal to 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2. Then square root of negative 1 is i. This will be over 2, right? Now let's go. x will be equal to, I can factor 2 out. If 2 goes out, here will be 1 plus or minus here will be i and this is over 2 so that from here this can now go with this and our x is equal to 1 plus or minus i now to bring okay let's split this because this is a 2 in 1 solution okay and um, our first value of x let's call it x1 it is equal to 1 then the second value is from here call it x2 and it's equal to 1 plus i the third value x3 is equal to 1 minus i so these are the three solutions to the equation although it is only the first solution that is real